The following instructions are meant to supplement your training on Hydrotite's products. Hydrotite recommends that you read and understand your manuals thoroughly before operating these units. There are two basic kinds of pumps or consoles available from Hydrotite, air or electric. For the electric, we will demo on the ZU4 pump, and for the air, we will demo on the ZA4T pump. Both pumps come standard with a breather plug, operating manual, and a 15-foot flexible hose. And also, both pumps have a one-year warranty. First thing you want to check on your ZA4T air pump is to make sure that the transporting shipping plug has been replaced. This temporary shipping plug keeps the fluid in your reservoir for transit and needs to be replaced with the breather plug which is supplied with your unit. Included with your RSL wrench is an overlay that fits on your console display to help you determine proper PSI for the foot poundage you want to use. To install it, you first remove the basal, then place the overlay on and line up the zeros. There is a tab on the basal that needs to be hooked to the top of the gauge area. Hook in and tighten up the basal. On the front of your ZA4T pump is a sight glass to determine the level of your hydraulic oil in your unit. If you see a bubble in the window, the oil level should be okay. If you need to add oil or change the oil in the reservoir, you need to remove the plugs. To empty your reservoir, unscrew the front plug beneath the sight glass with a 5 16 inch Allen wrench. The reservoir fill plug is on the top of the unit near the breather plug and is removed with a 3 8 inch Allen wrench. You need to use Hydrotite supplied Enerpak brand oil, otherwise your pump warranty may be voided. Change your pump's hydraulic oil at least every 250 hours, or more often than that, in a dirty environment. On the back of this pump, you should also check the level of the airline oiler, which helps to keep the pump lubricated. There is a max fill line on the back. Do not overfill past this line. The fill plug is on top and is unscrewed here. We want to now install our lines. To install the hoses, you need to first remove the dust covers from the quick connectors. On the console, clean dirt from the quick connect couplers and fittings before each use. Dirt on the couplers or fittings can interfere with the secure connection and the tool won't operate as it should. Wipe them off with a clean rag and do the same with your hoses, making sure there is no dirt inside. Each end of the twin hoses will have one male and one female quick connect fitting. The power console has like male and female fittings. Take the supplied hose, insert it, and rotate the collar until tight. Make sure there is no space between the screw collar and its stop, as a space means that the screw collar is partially closed and flow will be limited. It needs to be tight. Hook the other end of your hose to the whip hoses on the wrench and tighten them up snug as before. Then do the other side tight. Oil will not flow freely between connections if fittings are not fully engaged. Before you power up the airline, you want to make sure that the wrench is all hooked up with all the fittings tight. Next step is to assemble your airline. Start by removing the red protection cap on the regulator. A minimum of three quarter inch airline is required for proper operation. Screw in your airline fitting that will accommodate your airline being used. Tighten up snug. Longer length airline will reduce airflow and may interfere with pump operations. Insert your airline and see that there is pressure registered on the gauge. Now you want to adjust your air pressure by pulling up on the cap and turning it clockwise to increase the pressure which is displayed on this gauge. Turning it counterclockwise will reduce the pressure. For optimum performance, a 90 to 100 PSI is required. Refer to your pump manual for more specific settings. With your air pressure set, you want to push down on the cap to lock the adjusting knob in place. Control pendant features include a green on and advance button with an auto retract feature. When you let go of the advance button, the piston in the power head automatically retracts to the starting position. 
The red button is an automatic stop or kill switch. You now need to set the pressure or PSI that you want to use before installing the wrench onto the bolting flange. Your manual will help you determine the output that you want to apply to the nut. Hold the green button in to adjust the pressure on the gauge. To adjust that, you need to first loosen the chrome lock nut on the base of the control handle. Make sure that the control handle is all the way up or counterclockwise. To set your required PSI, turn clockwise to increase PSI. And when you get your pressure that you want to use, which for this application is 3000 PSI, you lock the chrome lock nut back down to lock the torque control valve in place and to make sure the adjustment pressure remains there. With your air pressure set, you should now be ready to use your ZA4T hydraulic pump.